For centuries, humankind has found many benefits of using water to heal. Water can bring great relief for pain on all levels. Spiritually, we feel relaxed, we feel happier, and we feel a sense of freedom when we're near water, whether that be an ocean, a sea, a river, a lake, a stream, or even a pond. The benefits of having water to swim and exercise is self-evident as it's as good for the body physically as it is mentally. And of course, water is used in many spiritual ceremonies too. In cities and areas far away from the sea, it's important to have swimming baths and pools for everyone to enjoy and benefit from, especially in the summer months. Hydro means water in Greek, so it's evident hydrotherapy is therapy with water and therefore a water cure. Using water for healing is a form of naturopathy, which involves the pressure of water as well as the temperature of water. The ancient Egyptians used essential oils for therapy when bathing and for centuries the Japanese and the Chinese have used natural hot springs for curing ailments. Ancient Roman baths, thermal baths and mineral baths can be found throughout the world. The ancient Greeks invented the jacuzzi, which today is known as a hot tub or whirlpool bath, and the famous Greek physician Hippocrates advised bathing in spring water to cure sickness. In the UK, in the 18th and 19th centuries, water was used as a method for flushing out impurities through sweating and bathing with hot and cold water, as well as water for drinking. The first water curing establishment in the UK was formed in Malvern in 1842, which attracted many famous faces of the time, including Charles Darwin and Florence Nightingale. Hydrotherapy centres began to spring up, if you pardon the pun, everywhere along the seaside resorts, thanks to uh, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. The seaside still remains popular for old and young alike. The spa town of Malvern in Worcestershire is still popular to this day. Other notable places famous for water in the UK are Matlock and Buxton in Derbyshire, and of course Bath in Somerset, as well as many others. In the 20th century, hydrotherapy was introduced as a cure for mental illness and also alcoholism. Today, it's used to improve blood circulation, arthritis, joint pain, neuralgia, sciatica, psoriasis, eczema, acne, chickenpox, measles, urinary infections and prostate problems. Animals also benefit from hydrotherapy for health reasons. It's been known to help them with exercise and also to assist them overcome injuries. It's clear that their mental health improves too when they are in and near water. Most dogs become just as excited as children when they're near the sea. It seems whether we have physical, mental, emotional or spiritual ailments, water has the answer. A very fluid asset indeed. <laughs>